Hey, what's going on? It's by the way. How can it be by the way when the network canceled it weeks ago? I mean, what the fuck do I think I'm doing going against the network? Well, actually, what the truth is, I spoke to the executives that canceled it, and I told them that they were being a bit too harsh, and they decided to, um, you know, renew it for another eight episodes. So not not a full season, but uh, just you know, second half to season one, kind of like South Park does it. You know, seven episodes and then seven more, or eight in this case. So I'll do eight more because I actually have a few things to talk about. And uh, a few weeks ago, the actual reason why I didn't do it had nothing to do with a network cancellation. It simply had to do with, uh, yeah, it felt kind of samey. Doing the same commentary week in and week out. I don't know how the fuck Amanda managed to do, what, what is it, 83 in a row? Um, it seems pretty, like, fuck, 83 weeks in a row you're going to comment on YouTube happenings. I mean, jeez, that's... That's pretty uh, consistent of him because I felt redundant after my eighth week. So I, I uploaded one, you know, six weeks ago when I stopped doing it, but I didn't, I, I mean, I shot one, but I didn't upload it because I just, well, you know, it's kind of same shit. But now I have a few things to talk about that are uh, still kind of samey, but I haven't done it in a while, so why the fuck not? Um, starting off with the, what do you want to call it? Uh, the beta shit that YouTube's going to force all users apparently, no matter what uh, status, no matter how high you are on the food chain, uh, you're getting bettered, apparently. And a lot of people have been mirroring the anti-beta video, but it hasn't done any good because YouTube is not, uh, they're doing their standard thing where they're ignoring the users. Um, I think, I mean, I haven't heard a single user come out and say, hey, you know, YouTube spoke to me and they're considering this, they're considering that. No, they're just doing their standard ignoring. So that's a shame. I mean, it's not. I, I probably hate the beta shit more than the average uh, person who hates it. Uh, just because, I mean, it's just really not only aesthetically unpleasing, but it's just so fucking user, user unfriendly that. Ugh, it's just. I still haven't gotten the hang of it. I dread every time I have to go to somebody's channel who I know has been bettered. I mean, I actually dread it. Sometimes I even avoid going to the channel just because I want to deal with the format. And uh, yeah, that'll probably change after a few weeks once everyone gets better, but I really don't want to go through the transition. So, um, you know, come on YouTube. If, 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 if the higher-ups on YouTube see this, which of course they will, because it's me, <laughs> um, yeah, don't do that or I will leave. Um, just like I said I was going to leave last time you pissed me off and uh, the time before you pissed me off and probably a uh, third time before, um, but this time I, I'll really do it. Uh, because I hate that better shit. So uh, that's that's a threat. So you can you can't have YouTube without anti bullshit, man. The uh, revenue will just. <laughs> um, but no, I'm I'm serious. Fucking don't do it. Don't force us. You can have there's plenty of people like it. Okay, so plenty of people have adapted the format. Uh, you know, the few of us that don't like it, let us keep our standard channels, fuckers. Um, so moving on to actual videos. So. That angry Canuck fella has been back for a few weeks now, and he's been, you know, he's pretty much taken, I guess, you know, fake Sagan's spot of poking at things that he knows is going to get a reaction. Um, stuff like, you know, leftists, um, the Holocaust, and the most recent one, uh, Michael Jackson. And, uh, you know, you got to give him his due. He does a pretty good job of it. I mean, he's... I like him a lot more than Fake Sagan because I actually get the sense that he doesn't believe in what he says. Whereas uh, with our with his predecessor, while he was on YouTube, you, you always kind of kept in the back of your mind, well, you know, this this guy actually believes his own bullshit. And um, that, that's I guess if he doesn't, though, then I guess Fake Sagan is actually better because he actually got us to believe that he believes it, even though he doesn't believe it. Uh, whereas Ang with, with Angry Canuck, you can just tell he's looking for attention. Uh, but I think just as far as natural personality goes. Uh, the Angry Canuck is better, so go 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 check out uh, Angry Canuck uh, if you haven't, uh, because it is it is pretty funny how do people really do get bitchy as his, as they watch him, and both in the comments and in the um, video responses. I think his Holocaust thing got 80 video responses, so uh, and all of them saying the same thing basically, um, and it's so painfully obvious that he's just. You know, he's, he's full of shit because he did a video a year ago saying that the Holocaust is a serious topic and you shouldn't really talk about it because, you know, it's, 
you know, he works, so he doesn't want people at work to see it. So uh, all these people just, <laughs> they, they ignore that, or they haven't seen it, or something. But basically, he got, he got what he wanted. So, uh, you know, props, I guess. Um, no, I'm, I'm still not going to subscribe to him, because he's, uh, yeah, he's a prick, who's just an attention whore. But he's a funny attention whore, and I have to admit that, so i got to give him a certain amount of uh, props on that. Uh, but I do wish that, you know, he, he could have been better in his, when he poked the leftists, because I think if, if he had actually brought out some policies that uh, leftists are a little wacky on, you know, stuff like, oh, let them inherit all the money they want, um, that would have, you know, actually given, given him some more credibility. But he didn't, he just, he just, you know, talked about labels, he didn't talk about specific policies. So, uh, moving on, uh, speaking of the Michael Jackson thing, uh, Amendum did a freaking... <laughs> I was shocked because some of his biggest supporters, um, he he pretty much let them have it, and it's just pretty funny how little regard Amendum has as as far as potentially pissing off and losing some of his you know core fan base. And you gotta respect that because not only did he do it when he ranted against people who were sort of making excuses for Michael Jackson. That's the thing though; they weren't really making that many excuses for Michael Jackson. They were sort of in the middle, and he, he didn't even like them being in the middle. He so, so he like called them <laughs> the biggest fucktards on the internet. Well, he said they're as they're saying things that are equ equivalent to the biggest fucktards on the internet. And uh, like, oh, holy fuck, this guy really doesn't give a fuck, you know, how many subscribers he loses or anything. He's just, he's going to say what's on his mind. And you got to respect that because nobody else on YouTube, at least that I've run across, uh, will be as, uh, will truly speak their minds. I mean, there's a lot of people who say, oh, I really speak my mind. I really, Pfft, bullshit. The only person who really always speaks his mind that I've seen on YouTube, it's got to be Amendum. Um, and if there's someone else, well, let me know. But I don't think it's going to... I don't think they're going to match up, really. Uh, and he also did it with the Life Sucks argument, because he's been putting out video after video after video, and it is very off-putting to the average person, so no doubt a lot of people unsubscribe to him because of that as well. And uh, he doesn't give a fuck, he just keeps putting out the Life Sucks videos. And, uh, I mean, even I'm sort of getting growing tired of the argument, simply because I can't stand listening to the counter arguments anymore because they're made of nothing um, and I, I do wish I think it's time to move on to some other topics I mean, theoretically we know that this is the only topic that really needs to be discussed to death but it's been discussed to death so if the results aren't coming in so let's uh, you know let's do something else um, what else uh, oh, <laughs> amazing atheist did a video where he um, where he compared people's outrage to, uh, you know, Michael Jackson's pedophilia in light of the death. And he says that uh, they're being hypocrites because they, they get on his ass for, you know, potentially molesting children. But, uh, you know, people don't care when the state executes murderers and stuff like that. So he's doing that, that whole silly capital punishment argument again. Um, and just completely ignoring anyone who points out to him in the comment sections, or I'm sure there's, there's been in videos as well, anyone who points out to him that um, Michael Jackson did it to feed himself. Um, when the state executes people, they don't do it because they get a kick out of it. They do it in hopes of creating uh, deterrence, in hopes of putting another, you know, having somebody else who's watching the case and watching perhaps even the execution when they used to be televised uh, in certain parts of the world. Uh, maybe creating a disincentive in their head that, uh, hey, you know what, maybe I don't want to do what I was thinking of doing because I can end up with that, like, that fucker in the chair. So, uh, and he's just going to ignore all that and he's going to pretend that it's some sort of a parallel line between the two, the two acts of evil. Uh, and it, it, it is an, uh, you know, it, it is an evil to kill people, but it's a necessary evil uh, in the case of capital punishment. And he's just going to keep ignoring that. So, very stupid video. It's like his second worst video I've ever seen. It was his last one. Uh, the worst one being the one on vegetarians he did when he answered to Onision a few months back. Um, it was so bad, even I had to respond to it, uh, the, the one on Onision. And I don't bother responding to him ever, because it's just it's pointless. Um, and, uh, but yeah, he's, gonna, he's pretty much telling YouTube, shove your corporate dick up my ass, because uh, in six months I'm out of here. So it's, it's going to be worth it to him to, um, you know, so he can get, you know, promote that. Call it TJ Vid site, 
so it's going to be okay to be a complete, I mean, he was a whore before, but now he's going to be an even bigger whore because he wants, uh, you know, at any cost, he wants to draw people into the TJ Vid site. So he's going to, he's going to do the family friendly thing, I guess, which uh, I think he has enough people at that site. I went to the site for the first time a couple of days ago. And uh, I saw, I finally saw that fake Sagan video where he, um, he was firing off the gun in the air and, oh, he was so happy, fake Sagan was. He really did seem genuinely happy. He wasn't just, you know, he wasn't just putting it on for the video. Um, he really seemed happy to be down in the south. And, uh, you know, I think we should be happy that he's happy because, um, you know, he had the philosophical awakening that anarchy is the right way to go about six months ago and then he had to live in a civilized state for six months after that and that must have been hard on him and then kept an awesome thing and you know this is so he, he, he hasn't had a good year so far so uh even though he's a giant jackass um you know i'm i'm happy that fake sagan looks like he's gonna have a happy ending firing his gun off in the air and being able to do whatever the fuck he wants so uh good good for him